Okay, so the first step is to move to File, Import, go to Import File. Now I like her, I located this earlier, but um, so now we've got a couple of folders here. We want to go to the Meshroom Cache, down to Texturing. Now I'm going to order it by date modified and then upload the textured mesh that we've created today in Meshroom and open. Now I have trialed before um, with importing as a single mesh, flipping the Z and the Y axes because when it actually does import, it imports upside down for some reason. Um, I have played around with some of these settings um, and that I haven't been able to rectify that problem so I just rotate the object when I'm actually have imported it into the viewport so I'm not going to change anything here I've got the textured mesh it should import the material that we um, had created within Meshroom that lays over the top of the mesh and I'm going to go import it's importing here. Great. Now you can see this is actually upside down, which is strange. So this is viewing from the bottom in a top view, but we're actually No, I don't want that way. Okay, great. So if I change all of these viewports to default shading. I want to rotate the object. So we don't have to look at the bottom. So basically I just want to flip this object. So the top view is the top of the mesh. Just see, that's 180. Okay, the top view is actually the top view, which is great. Then I'm just going to use my mouse to rotate the screen. So this is the right way up on the top. And I have imported the mesh from Meshroom. Now I do want to go a step further in my third video. Um, I'm actually going to trim away all of this um, scene from the rock uh, so the actual object of just the rock can be inserted into a scene instead of keeping all the environment around it. Um, so that will actually also reduce the size of our, um, our scanned in 3D object and the mesh that we've created um, and then it can also be built up in a library that you can pick and choose um, you know for your renders or different projects um, instead of having you know the grass and the tan bark and everything that is uh, around it at the moment so that will be in the next video